mindset Hand blowing smoke, catch a contact she really hated my playing because I didn't practice very well. My technique was horrible and she'd like hit my hands like this. You'd be like, hey, your playing sucks. <laughs> so you can't really disappoint someone much further than that. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh! Whoa! I love the drifting t shirt so good. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, so I'll just, oh! Oh, that was an interesting point. Wait. And everything that I said just now is really just like small stuff. Generally speaking, it's a very, very good performance. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam. It's time for yet another Let's watch. Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Robert Utomo, Marimba Morris, Bradley Crowley, Ryan Carlos, Sunshine Han, Scott Rader, Greg Harris, DMP Newberger, Mr. Grizzly, and Jay Carroll Gilliland. Thank you so much for your continued support. And today's featured studio artist is Jimmy Pinson. Thank you so much for joining the studio artist team. He's also one of the mods on Discord. If you'd like to be a studio VIP or a studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Adam or you can click over here. Welcome back to the show once again. Hope you've been well, hope you've been staying safe and hope you had a good Lunar New Year if you do celebrate that. I've been kind of inactive for the last few days because I've been celebrating with my family. Obviously just at home because we can't go anywhere. Today's content is of course coming from our Discord server adamtampercussion.com forward slash Discord and we are almost at 500 members. We're going to introduce some virtual practice rooms, some voice chat channels very soon uh, if we pass 500 members. So help us get to 500 plus members on the Discord. It's a really fun place. We talk about all kinds of stuff including memes. <laughs> okay, so here's the first one from JD Drums. Any member of the Fire Nation is in a scene, the brass orchestra. <laughs> this is like those drum kit cover videos where they always light the sticks on fire. Like, I ain't gonna light my Koopermans on fire. Oh, actually, speaking of Koopermans, look at this. I got a little bit too enthusiastic about uh, rim clicks and I, I splintered my Koopermans. Times, if you can get there. <laughs> to Timpani, you must get there. <laughs> what kind of band part is this? Man, I've always had a lot of problem with getting to band instruments in the back row. And the school that I used to be at, my high school, the back row was literally like this wide. Like you had to literally go like this around people. And so I can totally understand if you have the chimes on one side, timpani on the other side, but surely there's a better way to do it. <laughs> Wilf D, society if mallet manufacturers agreed whether one was softest or hardest. <laughs> True, true. Like when I used to do a lot of mallet reviews, obviously I haven't had as many companies sending me mallets due to COVID and stuff like that. But if you ever want to send me anything, PO box is in the description below. Like I can never tell which mallets are hard and soft on the model numbers alone because everybody is so different. Like for example, when you're using Encore mallets, for example, one is soft. And then when you're using Marimba One, one is hard. Why you gotta be like that? But currently the favorite mallets that I'm using so far are still Keiko Kotoku's. I, I don't know why I like the Keiko Kotoku's so much. If anybody can recommend me mallets that look like the Keiko Kotoku's, that sound like the Keiko Kotoku's, let me know that in the comments below. Taco Man 1013. Oh yes, this was like a Super Bowl commercial, wasn't it? Like Budweiser or something. And yeah, phew. That's, that's gonna hurt a lot of souls. <laughs> you can't disappoint your director if you haven't made them proud in the first place. <laughs> this is like me and my piano teacher when I was young. Like I was learning piano under the age of 12 and every time my piano teacher just seemed like she really hated my playing because I didn't practice very well. My technique was horrible and she'd like hit my hands like this. You'd be like, hey, your playing sucks. <laughs> so you can't really disappoint someone much further than that. Dr. Peel, Facebook, your item was rejected. Promark SPYR SU14R Small Brass Bell Mallets was rejected because it doesn't comply with our commerce policies. Listing may not position products or services in a sexually suggestive manner. Wow, those are some <laughs> powerful brass mallets. <laughs> Staying strong when things get too hard to handle. Oof, this, this is me, you know. You notice that all of the pieces I write are always in um, four sharps or less. <laughs> Wilf D. <laughs> This, this one, man, this is just creative. You know I'm something of an improviser myself. It's my face. <laughs> thank you, thank you for superimposing my face, Wilf D. <laughs> I really appreciate it. My face used to look so much more V-shaped and desirable back then. I guess I've gained weight. Hey man, can you grab my good snare for me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> what? How would you even do that? 
That is like the equivalent of picking up a marimba by the bars. <laughs> so yeah, that's probably enough memes for now. But if you want to submit more memes, you can go to adamshandpercussion.com forward slash discord and submit them in the memes channel. Okay, now we're going to watch a video today, which is of a piece that we have actually featured on the show before. But this one caught my attention because this person is in eighth grade. Hey everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. I have an upcoming solo scholarship contest at my symphony orchestra and decided to learn one of my favorite percussion pieces, White Knuckle Stroll. My recording is definitely not the best recording out there, so please, any suggestions and ideas will be greatly appreciated. But yeah, I'm always keen to see how people interpret this piece because it's not necessarily like uh, complex in a musical way, but it is a big flex. And sometimes people take big flex pieces and they turn them into these really sterile interpretations. So I'm really interested to see what this looks like. Let's watch. All right, so here's the video and yeah, Arn looks like he's ready to go. This is a very interesting angle. Uh, it's quite low. That looks like a synthetic marimba. Synthetic marimbas to play white knuckle straw. I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of ringing, but that's not necessarily Arn's fault. You know, that's just a byproduct of Keylon slash Crystallon marimbas. Oof, okay, let's go. I'm really excited to watch this. Whoa! Whoa! Here we go. Woo! Woo! Okay. It's good control. Okay, stop there for a second. Okay. A lot of good things there to start off with. I really appreciate the, um, the handheld camera angle. It's very in the moment. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is a really beautifully color graded video. But okay, the video quality aside, um, his playing is very energetic. I do like that he's really like gunning the, the, the chromatic runs. It feels like an appropriate tempo. It is still a little bit under, but not too bad. I mean, remember that Casey's tempo is quite crazy. It's like quite fast. The way he's holding the mallets is interesting. It is a little bit pinchy, like he is holding it. Not quite like the pistol grip I was talking about when I roasted myself last time. Uh, he's not quite holding it like that, but he is holding it. Yeah, so you can see, like when he's playing the normal parts, the slow parts, his finger is around the mallet and he's holding it and he's using the finger to actuate it. Not a full stroke per se, but it's definitely still using the finger. So I can appreciate that, that's fine. Maybe it's also because the marimba is kind of high up. It looks like it's very close to him. So he doesn't have much room to move and he's kind of having to uh, raise his arms a little bit. So maybe you'd want to lower the marimba a little bit, but anyway. Okay, stop there. Now you can see in his left hand, over here, the left finger is completely stuck out. The rest of the fingers are holding the mallet like this, but the left hand, the finger is stuck out. And what that means is that that index finger is doing nothing. It's kind of just resting there. And as a result, he kind of has to just do full wrist strokes. Now, some people do actually intentionally do this. I have met professional players who do hold the mallet higher up and they hold it in a way that is fully finger and they just use uh, full wrist strokes to get the chromatic runs because they think it has like more control and stuff. In this instance, I'm not so sure that you need to do that because um, you could just get the same thing just by using you know, a more natural motion that has a little bit more finger and really pushing that rattan shaft inside so that you can get, uh, let, me, let me show you an example. Okay, so these aren't rattan mallets, but if you can see the way I'm holding this, I'm using the index finger to actuate the motion. Now I know there's different fulcrums and all that kind of stuff, but generally speaking, this will be a lot easier on your hands long-term than this, which I think is what Arn is doing here. He's kind of holding it out. It's interesting because his right hand is still okay, but his left hand is sticking out the finger and that's making this kind of stroke. So yeah, you can get away with it short term, but long term it's going to do some damage to your arm. So just be wary of that. Anyway, let's keep watching. Accuracy is fantastic though. Okay, stop there. Okay, again, see how his left hand, the finger is just out like that. And yeah, it's, 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 it's getting by at the moment, but you can see the right hand is definitely more powerful and more dominant in these runs because it's holding it more correctly. That was a smooth gliss. Woo, okay, yeah.
I'm speechless at the moment. It's it's very good. Yeah. Okay, so in these ones, I can see his left hand. Yeah, it is doing some sort of. Um, these fingers are doing more of the work than the index finger. So yeah, it is it is possible to do this kind of technique, but I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> the more I watch this video, the more I believe the height of the marimba is too high. You can see in this freeze frame here, his shoulders are kind of raised. Not, not, not a huge amount, not like this, but pre pretty close. Other than that, the accuracy is insanely good. Like, it's very, very, very accurate, and the feel is really good, the touch is really nice. I kind of wish he played it on a different marimba, a, a Rosewood or a Paduk even, so that we didn't have that really long sustain that these uh, synthetic members have, but obviously that is completely not his fault. Like this, sometimes you only have access to a synthetic, so that's totally fine. Oh, that was good reaching. Dude, look at the accuracy of this left hand. Oi. Okay, the... The, the, the one-handed roll is pretty good. Hey. Ah, I, 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 I like that. I like that. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I really like that he took the breath there. He was like, that's really good way of phrasing. It's very, very good to get this breathing thing happening early on in your playing career. When you take a breath, you put basically a marked rest there, which just helps you pace the playing a lot better. It helps you articulate better. It's a very mature way of interpreting this passage. I really like that Arne did that so much. Hey. Yeah, see that breath is great. Great reaching, great reaching. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. The stroke height though, the stroke height. Oh, that finish and that, that calm walk off. Oh, very good, very, very good. Okay, so yeah, a lot of good things in that. Honestly, just really, really spectacular accuracy. The feel is very much there and the stroke height, you know, like just how he was raising the mallets so much and he was reaching all of those far notes really, really clearly. Uh, didn't feel too bangy, although I would like to see what it would sound like on a non-synthetic instrument. Very well done, Arne. I really, really appreciate it and I hope you submit more videos to our Discord because that was just awesome. I'm going to watch one more video which is from Colin Bose, aka Flat2Sus4. Uh, he's been a long time member of our Discord server and it's a rendition of Lotus and I really like watching people play my pieces just because it's very surreal for me to see that. Um, so yeah, let's, let's do it. Lotus. Colin says, I finally got around to recording my rendition of Lotus. Apologies for the camera quality slash lack of. It's okay, man. Like, whatever camera you have is whatever camera you use. It's all good. All right, let's watch. Nice, nice dynamics. Hey, hey, nice. Oh, beautiful. I like that he's, he's drifting in the C-sharp. That's something that I don't force people to do, but he did it and it's awesome. Oh, gorgeous, man. I love the drifting C sharp, so good. Oh, nice. Not, not too loud, but that's good. Ah. Oh, clean. Not, try not to get too loud too early, but still good. The mallets sound really nice. Not too bangy. Not too loud on the octaves, but good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I was just... Oh! Oh, that was an interesting point. Wait, just play it again before I say anything. Jojo, pulse. Watch this, watch this. 
Whoa! <laughs> Interesting way of interpreting that. I would say da -da 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 is not meant to be like a, a big flashy thing. It's supposed to be small like da -da -da. So maybe not such a sudden movement. But I do like the creativity. I do like it. Just be careful of your right hand octaves. I think sometimes they're getting a little bit heavy. I can see also your doing what we call like a full arm stroke. I think if you've ever read Pius Chang's article about stroke weight on Marimba, uh, what I would call that is like a full arm stroke. It's like, it looks quite heavy, but we haven't actually reached the peak yet. So just keep that for the later parts. Otherwise, it's sounding really, really nice up to this point. Let's keep watching. Oh, this part sounds awesome. Wow, accuracy is 100% on point. Well done, man. Totally fine that you're choosing to stretch these out. It's very nice. It's taking a lot of care with these, which is really nice. Not slamming it too hard. Beautiful. Nice. Hey, nice. So accurate. And it's really beautiful. The touch is beautiful. Ah, oh, I love the interpretation. Well done. Yeah, oh, that's so good, man. I love the in, the phrasing. I love that you're leaving the space as well in between. Very, very mature. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, try and make this really exquisite. Okay. Yeah, that that works. Oh, that's. Interesting interpretation too. Wow, nice. Yes, this is the part to have heavy and then bring it down. Oh, it should be softer. It should be softer. Okay. Nice. Okay, here we go. Now build it up, build it up. This is what you've been waiting for. Let's go. Here we go. Oi. Nice. Is that like 100% accuracy? That's insane. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. nice okay now I think you have done a fantastic job in learning the notes It's very very accurate and it's beautiful uh, I think the pacing can be a little bit very just a little bit I think uh, that part could probably be a little bit quicker because it, it was getting really um, slowed down I'll just show you what I mean so this part here this part should yeah because you want to give it somewhere to go so a suggestion would be maybe to speed up that bit and then slow it down then you have like some variance um, this part is fine duh, 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 duh. yeah but you move this along a little bit and, duh, 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 and then you could have been like boom and leave more space yeah and these two notes in my piece are the most important like quiet points um you want to leave lots of space because before this you're hearing a lot of lot of block chords a lot of noise and then this is like the first moment of peace that you get in a long time so really try and treasure those moments like and then i would literally wait 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 and then like that long that long you know yeah but still very nice i like the creativity in your gestures too
I really like that you're playing really soft. Oh, uh, maybe yeah, maybe you can give it again more time, more time in this area. Like I said, like before, it's just very continuous. So give it more space. That's what makes your rendition more special. Is if you really know how to treat the space, if that makes sense. So like here, I would wait, away, wait, away, and then yeah. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice. And then, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. That's an interesting profile picture. <laughs> well, you know, to this day, I'm still like very sh shocked and humbled when I see videos of my pieces being played and all the different interpretations. It's just so heartwarming to see. Thank you so much for playing my piece, Colin. I think you did a very good job. I think it's very, very well learned. You've obviously learned every single contour. You've also thought about it a lot. You've thought, what do I want to convey in this passage? Do I want it to move forward? Do I want it to slow down? Do I want it to feel nostalgic? Do I want it to feel energetic? You've really put some thought into that. And everything that I said just now is really just like small stuff. Generally speaking, it's a very, very good performance. I think if you're ever at odds as to what you could do with this rendition, I just say more space. You have had some parts in there where you do actually slow it down a lot and it's like whoa that's very mature and then there's some parts where you kind of cut it a little bit too short so maybe just leave some spaces maybe in the areas that I suggested but anywhere else that you think it might be nice to like enjoy the little notes. Too often in marimba we have a lot of pieces in the repertory that are just moto perpetua go 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 and they're just like the same thing over and over again and then there's no brief moment of respite. Uh, I really also like your gestures I love that whoosh, over the top that's so like mizu no koku. Mizu no koku. To all my Demon Slayer fans, I'm watching the movie this week too. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of Colin's performance. And I would love to hear from you if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see on this show. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't already hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads, thank you so much for 27K. I really appreciate your support so much. And once again, if you haven't already joined our Discord server, head to adamhampercussion.com forward slash Discord. It's a really, really fun place and it's very active at the moment there's always people talking so you always have someone to talk to and we're going to be introducing vc very soon thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you guys next week for another episode of the studio good night